Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Minecraft episode 21 on the server with fans. So it looks like we got a pretty significant donation of cobblestone in the donation chest, and a little bit of paper, which I'm grateful for, but we don't really need because our sugarcane is kind of blowing up currently. Uh, I've expanded the sugarcane again, even since episode 20. Um, but the cobblestone donation is pretty significant because we are really cruising through all of our stone in the construction of the highway. And so that will that will help us out dramatically. In fact, I don't think we have that much stone left, so we're going to start smelting some. That's fine, though. So let's talk about the highway because that's what we're going to be working on for this episode is we've we've made a good amount of progress with the highway off camera and in fact let's go ahead and grab some more dirt for scaffolding and in fact we're going to be doing something kind of neat with the highway sort of big is we're going to be working on the bridge the big bridge and we're going to want to make it look really nice and fancy because it's going to be so prominent so let me go ahead and get us over there Leave some room in our inventory for mob drops and such. And uh, let's go see what we're about to work on. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and put down a bed because there's going to be a lot of sleepless nights. Oh, we can't. That's right, because we are got it on slabs. That's okay. We'll just get ourselves a little bit of a secure area here. Just a bit. And then we'll light up this over here some of this. So here's the challenge. The challenge is we're going to bridge at an angle. So it's going to be a diagonal path right through this tunnel we carved. And it's going to go up and over this bay and make landfall on the other side. So it's got to be a pretty significant size. Now we could just stair step up and go flat across. Um, but it's got to be elevated enough that ships can get underneath it or that boats can get underneath it because this really is the entrance to the bay and you don't want to obstruct boat traffic um so we could just stair step it up high enough to allow for that and then just do it flat across but i actually want this to look like a real bridge and so we're going to do we're going to do some work actually trying to make this look oh let's see i i might have right clicked a couple of things I didn't want to and that's fine so we'll have some extra stone slabs that uh, we'll figure out a use for later I did preload this with a lot of materials so that we could get right to it now one of the things that I want to do is I want to follow these lines and the lines are going to start here like this so we're just going to start stair stepping it up And look at our diagonal lines, which the other diagonal line will be here. And then here. Right, so that's about the width of our bridge, not not counting the dirt. That's pretty good. Um, I think we're going to stick with that. That means it'll be about as wide as this tunnel. Which is pretty wide, all things considered. So we're just going to continue to stair step up and using our dirt we're going to get ourselves an outline to at least try to visualize this thing see how it's going to look it's pretty good pretty happy with that right so now where the challenge comes in is actually figuring out what our median point is going to be at which point we're going to start arcing it back down the other side and making sure that we've lined it up properly so that it connects the way that it should on the other side now we could chase blocks uh, across the ocean although i'm inclined not to do it that way so let's see we're going to need Get rid of you there like that, and then let's do some full blocks. I think we'll just keep it like this for now. Uh, 
Oop, and I put I put the slabs right back down. Okay. But that's really that's sort of misleading because the bridge starts here, and that means really to be even, the bridge should start here. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is that this particular tunnel, it doesn't have an it doesn't have an exact opposite on each side. And that's because if you look, you can see just due to our width, this corner, if you follow it, it doesn't go into a corner in, it goes into a corner out. And that's part of what gives us this extra width. Now we could expand it one more in an attempt to get the corners to line up but I don't think that's going to be ultimately necessary. In fact, I'm hoping very much so that it is not. If that does end up being the case, I'm sure we'll change it significantly. But I think at this point, we're good to just continue with what we're doing. So we'll just continue the dirt and stair-step ourselves up here. Okay, so at this point, what I'm trying to assess is if that curve is good. And it might be a little steep. See, we don't want this bridge to look like a triangle. We want it to look like a slope. So I'm thinking after about this point, we're going to need blocks to stay the same. So it'll be the same height for two, and then we'll do the same height for three. Let's see how that looks. Uh, wait, no. Nope, nope, did that wrong. And I'm really, I'm just using dirt so that I can visually start to wrap my head around this. So this is, this is sort of the slope we're going for now. Now we could do one more. That doesn't really even appear to be a third of the way, though. It has quite a bit to go. So the next one will have to be four. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night here. Last thing we want to do is deal with phantoms. Okay, and, and I'm showing every I'm showing all of this. I'm I'm not editing this part out just yet because I I sort of want my process to be seen. Um, you know, so that if it if it gives you ideas or even if you're like, oh no, there was a better way to do that. That my uh, my process will be visible to all. So at this point we have the fourth one. And all I'm doing is so I gave us a couple to start, one, two, three. And then did two. Now, for it to be a natural curve, because again, it look it's going to look like it ramps up sort of fast now. So we would, if we wanted to keep the slope the same, it would have had to be three at one, then three at two, then three at three. Maybe that's a better way to do it. I like that. See, now that's that's sort of the general slope that you want. It's definitely looking more like an archway if you if you ignore the dirt blocks. The dirt blocks are throwing off its profile. But the idea is that however many we stepped up in the beginning by one, so we did one, two, three, then you do two blocks at a time for three levels, then you do three for three levels, and lo and behold, this ends up being our halfway point. Now, I, I sort of just took a guess at three levels when doing this but it looks like this is going to work out really nicely so let me do the other side and three okay we got our diagonal line perfectly and look at that one two three one two three i really don't think i could have timed that or planned that any better 
it's 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 perfect actually so we've got again on this side one two three at one and then at two we have one two three and then at three we have one two three this being the high point of the arch so that means we can just follow that pattern on the other side and then we'll have our basic framework for our arch in play and we'll be able to start looking at how we want the floor to go and knocking all the dirt blocks off. So I'm just all I'm going to do is repeat this process on this side to where it touches down on the other side and we have our basic profile. Okay, so I've decided after meeting the two sides up and looking at the profile that I did in fact want these blocks to be symmetrical. Uh, I didn't like how it was offset by one, even though I do appreciate that in the tunnel i think that gives a neat effect and it gives us that extra width and i don't i didn't want to carve more out for this tunnel all it took to get it symmetrical was to step the path over one here and it's really not even that noticeable in fact if we wanted to we could probably take this sand down and then it looks more like just kind of the shape of the terrain we'll probably take this sand down a little more as well And at least now you have this symmetrical path. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and break all the stone that we don't need. So you can see for reference here, this is where it was and it didn't line up properly. And now it lines up properly to get a bit more of a symmetrical look. I was going to try and go without it. Uh, but the more I tried to wrap my head around how this is going to look when it's finished, it just it wasn't going to work for me. So all we're doing is we're making sure that all of the stone blocks on the inside that did not match up are gone, so that the only stone blocks that are here are the ones that are necessary for our profile. And if we take a look... You can see it's nice and diagonal. We still have the dirt blocks hanging around up there, but that'll all be dug out once we start putting in pillars and such for the art for the arc, uh, arches. That's a pretty reasonable profile. I'm actually, oh look at that. That's actually really nice. It's got a good slope, a good height. It doesn't go too high. It's not astronomical. We are still in the... Well, I mean, we're pretty much approaching the mid-game as far as resources on hand. Um, but it doesn't... It's not out of control. And it's also... It's not... Uh, it's not simple. It's not too simple. Trying to strike that balance yet again. Where we want it to look like it has creative elements to it but still respect the difficulty of resources prior to uh, mending tools and shulker boxes and all of that so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through and i'm going to pull off all the dirt from the underside of the bridge so that we can get a look at just the stone and start figuring out how we're going to do the stair steps Okay, so now that we're here and we're symmetrical, we can start looking at the steps. And if we want our first steps to start here, we might actually step it up here like this. So if we go like that, that does look like the beginning of the bridge. And then this section here, for these first three, these first three that sort of go straight up, that's when we're going to have to consider using stairs. Now, I don't know how that's going to work with these oddly diagonal pieces. So we're going to be figuring this out in real time. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So we have a width of four, and then we have a width of three. So if we do it like that, and then that doesn't really, um, hmm, I don't know if that's going to give us what we want. But if we do the half slabs on four, we could easily do, let's see, if we do it like this, and then it steps up, 
the the curve will outpace us the curve of the railing will outpace the floor and that might not be the worst thing in the world in fact we're going to continue that trend just to see what it looks like i think this is going to work out just fine though look at that that looks very intentional so it seems like the the interweaving lines actually give us plenty of space to do this with because then we can just kind of follow this pattern here of putting the slabs so it's slab block slab block and it tapers up now we're at the point where we don't have to stair step up as much because we had to keep up with these blocks that are going up at an increment of one block up every one block forward and now we're two blocks forward before it goes up one so that being the case, the bridge should represent that. See, but right now we have it to where we're stepping flush with the pillar. So this isn't really so much of a railing as it is a representation of our floor. See, we're still going to need to come up like this to continue the trend. So we've had to step up one, two, three, and then four. Now this is where we get to even out a little bit and go flush with the floor like this. Then the next one, this might be a nice, soft, easy pattern to follow. Right? And then the same thing here, we're going to go flush with the floor like this. And then again, slabs one, two, three. All right, let's take a look at how that looks from a distance. Again, it's not really accentuating our railing. It's not much of a railing to speak of, but it gives you an idea of the slope of the bridge. All right, we're gonna do one more step up here. And then we'll start on the third, or we'll start on the blocks that run in sets of three before they step up one. And again, this lets us put slabs, which is what I wanted. I wanted a nice, gentle slope. Let's take a look at that arch. That looks good for now. That's a good shape. We're going to need to use some decorations on the underside once we get our pillars squared away. But it looks like that pattern across the floor will at least get our floor nice and even. It looks nice and symmetrical. So let's copy this all the way across to the other side. And there we have it. The bridge is all the way connected, symmetrical. You could walk across it. At this point, while it doesn't look like much, it's very functional. It's very safe. It crosses at an angle and it has a solid arch that's balanced on either side. At this point, we could totally walk away from this and say it's good to go just don't let your llamas fall off the edge but of course that's not how we're going to leave things we need a railing we need some lights some decorations some glowstone some archways some pillars we do a connection here right under the base and then we draw the archway out to about the one-third mark and then we draw another archway to the two-thirds mark and then we complete it leaving the middle open Yeah, I think that's I think that's what's going to look best. So let's take some measurements and let's get some distances measured out and we'll figure out exactly where the one third and two thirds mark are going to be. OK, as it turns out, this bridge is actually 33 blocks long when measured at an angle. So we're just going to put torches on blocks 11 and 22 respectively and it breaks into thirds actually very nicely, which again, I just got lucky with and didn't realize that was gonna be the case before I decided to do it in thirds and fourths. But after I'd measured it, I think that would have been obvious. All right, so let's find the exact block, which is this one. And we're gonna go all the way down and start placing our pillar.
Oh, the plants. They're fighting with me. Oh, let's not break it with our diamond sword, please. Ouch! Trident. Mm. Trying to break my pants. You can see... You can really see the durability difference between the rest of my armor and the one with thorns on it. It's it's quite troubling. Okay, there we go. Now that looks like a real pillar, doesn't it? I guess not really a pillar, more like a support. We could square it off. I don't think that's going to be absolutely necessary. But I do think for the archway that we want, we're going to need it to be like that. So let's double, let's, actually no, we're going to figure out one side and then we're going to do the other. So from here, we're going to go ahead and fill that in, right, and get that even, and this even. Because what we want is we want this archway to sort of curve down the other side. More stone bricks. So now what we've done is we've created this, this artificial arch and then I think if we go slabs in the middle... That might give us what we're looking for. Like that, and then perhaps in the very, very center, we'll leave the slabs out. Because we should be able to destroy these blocks here, and there should be a slab underneath for which to build a slab onto, right? And then we've got to break this one as well. And then take these out of the middle here. Right? I mean, that yeah, it looks pretty much like an archway to me. So after that, We'd need what that that looks like slabs, but in reality those are whole blocks. So the next ones should be like this, because again we're looking for that symmetrical archway. That doesn't really do it though. You can see the problem that we're running into is if that's the center, then this one should come down. This one should come down. We're trying to make it look the same. So then these would actually stair step in like this. There you go. Then the next ones... The next ones would be here. You can, you can really get, if you look at it, you can really get the visual effect that it does in fact look symmetrical with the arch even though the slope of the bridge is continuing the other way. We might have needed to push it more away from this pillar. We're not going to have enough of a slope. Because look, it's going to come down and it's going to want to branch here. So we could maybe make this a little room. We could sort of build something under the bridge. That might be, that might be neat. Let's light it up a little bit. Yeah, in fact, we're just going to go on the fly. That's exactly what we're going to do. Right, like that. And then look at that. That looks like a very solid archway if ever there was one. And then these can be continued all the way down. Just like this. Let's see, like that. 
Oh, stone blocks. Oh, we're out of stone blocks. So close. That's your archway. And it looks like it's nice and symmetrical and follows the slope of the bridge. So then this here is going to be closed in. Right. Yes. Then the big archway will be in the middle. Um, but this is how we want this to meet over on this side. Is it looks like it makes like a little cubby. Yep, so once we're sure that's what we want to do, that block is not authorized. Not authorized at all. Now, we don't really want to go under the water. Not yet. Not yet. There we have it. Look at that. A nice... Even shallow arch for the sides. And then it's going to look like it meets up with the terrain. So rather than use a bunch of stone blocks here. I'm inclined. Oh, but that would take a lot of sand. So and look, we have like a little... Like a little room here. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with that just yet. We might leave that for future thought. Okay. So here we have the bridge... We've got our first archway in place. Let me go repeat this process on the other side, and then we'll start talking about the next addition to the bridge. All right, I've been giving this a lot of thought. This is where I'm heading. This is We're going to go down five from here and see what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five. So that puts you just barely above the water, but then we're going to slope it sort of steep. So we're going to come down... Two, three, four, five, which should put it at four. And then, let me see if we go, let's, let's take a step back. So the idea is that it would curve sort of at a steep angle, but not too steep, but steep enough. Um, all right, let's get some scaffolding in place. So we can actually work with what we're doing here. A little bit of parkour scaffolding. Mm-hmm. And that's what I get for trying to do it that way. All right. So we're going to put blocks down here and there. Again, I don't have this. This is all sort of free form. I don't have a vision. I don't have a plan. We're going to figure it out as we go. All right, let's get rid of this dirt so we can see what this... Well, let's just... Uh, I can't visualize with this dirt in my way. Okay. So that's sort of the nature of the slope. I don't... I think that's a little too gradual. So what if we what if we go up by two, right? And then we go up by one. So we go up by two, and then we go up by one, and then we go up by a half. We might get a much more gradual looking slope here. There's an easier way to do this, Thranxus. There we go. Stair step it up again. All we need is a couple extra blocks to reach what we're trying to do here. Okay. So from here, if we went ahead and we put our slabs like this, or no, if we took this slab out, that would give us the absolute peak of the arch there. I think that's, uh, well, no, let's see. If it goes up two, and it's different than the other arch, but then it goes up two, then it goes up one, then it should go up a half, and then it should stay the same. It doesn't quite... 
two two one one and then am I able to remove that? Yes, for a half. There you go. That's now that's a rather profound arch. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this for each one here. And then for the in-between blocks, we're going to use slabs to soften the gradient even more than we did on the other ones. See, one of the things that I'm okay with this because it's a small arch, but what I don't like is how the block on the exterior is actually in from the block on the interior, where I feel like it should be the other way around. I feel like, if anything... Uh, that's sort of the same, though. There we go. So then this pillar will come down to... Oh, do I want it to pull up one? That could give it an interesting dimension. Let's take a look at what that looks like after we put in our slabs, which will go right here. Hmm, it's hard to visualize without the rest of it in place. This being the center or top point of our archway. And it looks good. It looks smooth. It looks proportionate to the other ones. I don't know if I did myself any favors pulling this one down. So what if we just take this... We just continue to drop that down, pronounce that arch a little bit more towards the bottom. And then, of course, we're going to light it up because we're not trying to have people go through here at night while it's all dark and scary. But then if that's the case, we should actually put these torches at the same level to match. Attention to detail. See, that's what matters. Uh, and then these as well. That way these torches are all at the same level. Even if they're not as visible due to the arch. That's actually really good. I'm very happy with that. Maybe we need more torches up higher? No, no, because we're going to have glowstone and stuff on the top of the bridge that'll light it up. Okay, so let me match the other side of this archway with this, and then we'll get it all get it all nice and even looking. To get our handrail going, and of course, our glowstone. Okay. So one of the things we need are some nice lights. Probably, let's see, every other one maybe? This would be here, be here. Oh, we're falling off. Every other one might be a bit much. Is that a bit too much glowstone, I wonder? Could maybe skip every other one. Let's see, if we skipped this one and this one, then the next one would be skipped off of the pillar. But if we left the pillar and we skipped every other one... Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to try it again, this time skipping every other one, starting with the first and the last. Uh, is that not my... Oh, that's my fortune pick. Well, now we got some glowstone dust. Okay. Easy enough. So we lost one. No biggie. I'll make sure we pick these up. We don't want to lose these. So that takes a light off the top art arch though. Alright, so I figured out how I'm going to do the handrail, and what I started doing was just by putting uh, blocks on top of every piece of the edge of the bridge, except for where the glowstone is, because what I wanted was for it to not be possible 
for you to jump over the railing. Oop, hold on. Shadow Cat needs us to sleep. So then all I'm going to do after that is to place a half a slab on top of each block so that every block along the railing will be one and a half blocks. No problem. Will be one and a half blocks high, thereby preventing the llamas from jumping off or falling off to their doom should that happen accidentally. Look at the profile and make sure that it looks good, which I think it will. Wrapping up this bridge. So I do like the way that looks. I went through and I, I shaped up these archways a little bit more. I carved some of the outside blocks. Remember I had said I didn't like how much the, the lower part stuck out on the outside. So I made them a little, as well as arching up, I made them arch inward. So they're a little more concave now and they don't look, they don't look so so flat on the outside. Hopefully that's that's how we want a bridge to look. And then uh, the last thing we're going to do, and I might go through and add some highlights here later, but we're going to go ahead and put in our dock on the inside of the bridge so that we have a place to tie up our boats. And then we we'll carve a little doorway right through here to get to the inside of this. As you can do all sorts of neat stuff here, like maybe a bed and a storage room. I think we can safely get rid of some of this internal archway here because, oh, not that piece. No, no, not that piece. Shadow Cat's remodeling again. Very nice. Let's go ahead and let's put our wooden planks down so we don't have any of this visible sand. And then let's go ahead and replace this sand here with stone blocks. And then another bit of wooden planks there. And then all we need to add a proper door is to add this section. And then we can change this to a wooden block so the floor matches. There you go. Now we can put our crafting table. Oh, we left it up there. That's okay. We can, uh, we're we're going to make another crafting table really quick. Let's go ahead and put it here. And then let's, let's make some spruce doors. There you go. Look at that. Boom. Now you have a little door and a dock to go into it and we'll put you know different stuff in here a bed some some a chest i don't know if we'll put an ender chest let's make sure that doesn't ruin the profile of the bridge too much yeah you can barely even tell that that dock is there and then of course we're going to repeat the process over here on the other side perfect and then this door goes here voila now you have a dock on one side underneath the bridge and a dock on the other side. A nice profound archway in the middle for sailing through. It's lit up with glowstone. It looks nice and fancy. It's symmetrical, uh, but it didn't use too many resources, all things considered. We travel up here with our llamas. You can see lots of space. And boom, now this is where the highway on the other side it's going to cut over here, and in a straight shot, it's going to break through the dark forest, run by Snake's house, and connect to the village so that we can dedicate the rest of our time to the village from this point forward. And that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'm going to try to cut a lot of the pondering out. I'm sure the episode is still going to run long a little bit, but I wanted the bridge to be nice and finished by the time we were done. So this has been Minecraft episode 21 thank you so much for joining me i do hope you've had a good time watching because as always i've had a good time playing just remember to go ahead and hit the like button if you did have a good time watching and you should always subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already done so so that you can see my videos as soon as they come out 
But until next time, take care.